And we're back right now and we are going to take a look at the enemy movement simply. We have made uh, all the movements we need to and um, hopefully this up here north is going to survive and um, that's the thing I'm worrying mostly about. About this situation also is worrisome and um, actually we might actually need to put another comfort cooper here but we do have a blown bridge here which is nice but these guys might get slaughtered especially this one might get slaughtered so we'll see so it's gonna be tough really tough i think really really tough so we'll see what happens and maybe these guys can escape down here or i don't know or maybe we shouldn't really i don't know we'll see but I think we need to go back. Now these guys here uh, will try and stay as long as for as long as they can, and then move down here and so on. We we've already spoken about this. I'm not worried about anything else. You know, this is status quo. This is more like exciting. We'll see what happens. And uh, I've taken some really nice positions here in Camp, Camp Elsenborn, and I'm really interested in taking Saurbrot uh, over here but uh, we'll see what kind of movements they will do now it's going to be um, night time and I'm going to rest pretty much all my troops here they definitely need rest here we have a uh, vigor of is it 69 it says yeah limits the maximum readiness so yeah we definitely need to sleep uh, so we'll see what happens for sure and these ones are a little bit in a pickle, but it's fine for now. And this is an interesting situation, obviously. It's a bit unfortunate that I wasn't able to move to Stabilo though, but uh, or, or to the hex here, but we'll see what happens. We'll do that maybe during the night time, but I think during the morning will be better to do that because we might be able to see more and we definitely need to th throw ourselves towards Trapon. Now that's something. Do we want to do that during the night time? However, I think we all need to rest here. We'll see. I need to check that after this um, uh, turn, really. We'll see what happens. And St. Beth is really, really interesting. We need to push through here, but more important, I think, is to push through on in here. Uh, to get to St. Vith and uh, I think during the 18th of December this will be resolved because we have so many troops coming in, in here it's going to be a massacre for them so uh, and I don't know what these guys are doing down here and uh, what else we have the 116th Panzer and they will uh, try and move towards Govi in different ways here. We'll see what, where these guys are going. But it looks decent. This is a little bit of a mess, but now I have some forces that will should be able to hit these guys fairly hard, and then we will continue on our journey here. Unfortunately, it seems like it's sort of cut here, but let's take a look at the supply for us here. Yeah, it seems to be Cut. so we need to go around here so this is a problem we would like to have supply coming around like this but uh, yeah it's difficult they've done a good job there I have to say what else uh, we're down here hopefully we'll so well we're gonna survive here but hopefully they won't cut even further we definitely need to have some gas here we need to continue push here in here we need to take uh, Eschweiler and we need to move these guys maybe out here to continue pushing through here or rather wilts I think and then continue like this and just push 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 with everything else we've got and also these Falschim Jägers towards Echtdorf this is kind of open here and these guys probably also need to go like this through Merzig up here. And then we have these guys here in Etlebrück. It's nice that we've taken that one. Continue down here through, I guess, 
Shiren and Bissen, and uh, then continue down here, Redange and Hopscheid and Arlon. So it's a long way, really long way off. But and these guys, these guys, brave fighters, uh, slogging along. It's taking a lot of time, and they don't have any really fast units. And um, yeah, it's taking its time. But we'll see if they can reach Mersch. And these guys are moving along towards Junglinster. We should meet up some units up here but uh, maybe up here as well those who were down here so we'll see if we meet them and uh, that's it simply so without further ado let's take a look simply but before we do that I don't think I saved the last game so I'm gonna do that actually yeah I did not do that so let's do that we are going to let's see here and uh, we had what was the main thing we did well i'm going to fix that later on so now let's go back and let's go with this one all right let's have a look let's enjoy Ooh, this is exciting. Their last turn when it's misty and light outside. All right. Let's have a look. Also very, it's going to be very exciting to actually take a look at the stats as well. I feel like we've, um, we've got hurt quite a lot actually. So um, it's been a little bit more difficult to make these big hits. All right, let's see here. Trovange there. Etlebrück going away. That's interesting. Hitting there, but they get hit by... That's Valois. Monchau. Govi. Adding up there. Also distributing. Merzig, they're moving down. Ligneville moving away towards Malmedy. And where we add Etlebuk moving down, interesting. And where we add here, I don't know. Yeah, that's Monsha and stuff. It's going so fast. Provence there. Let's see here. Oh, there's up north there. Plus uh, Gap probably moving into Saabot. Oh, that's interesting. Also, all right, that's uh, Etlebrück moving away, and uh, before they're escaping, which is not bad. That guy, when we got hit there, La Glaze, oh, that was a good position to be in. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully we didn't get hit too hard there. But looking at it, it only has 20, but I think we lost some due to uh, trying to get in there. Didn't we? No, I don't think so. They lost some there. That's Stavelo. Artillery, we lost some there, unfortunately. Some. Ooh, unfortunately, they took it. That doesn't look good at all. That's going to be interesting to look, take a look at. So it seems like they're quite strong down there. Wilts moving around, unfortunately, taking up, I wouldn't say better positions. Because I'm thinking like this one is a good position to be in. So moving down here during night time would be nice. With follow up maybe. This is also interesting. 
blocking a little bit. And that's interesting, they're moving away into wilts. Because Viding in would also be have been a good place. They might be able to blow the bridge here though. But we do have cards also that can help. And they move away from Wilts, I think. So this is a nighttime thing to do, for sure. Trying to grab Wilts while, while they escape. These were like three excellent positions. This one, this one, and this one. All good positions. And this they have also left Echweiler. Yeah, it probably would have been taken. Is this stronger than this position? Yeah, definitely. So why move this one down here? Is it gonna get destroyed? Yeah, probably. Maybe he didn't know what was here, actually. I don't know. Probably not, but he could have moved back now also. Realizing that there's someone there. So there is some stuff to be done with the AI, for sure. But it's difficult to build up an AI. That's good, I'm pretty sure. All right. Hopefully he's just thinking. It's taking a lot of time right now. That's weird. There you go. Okay, where is that? That's at Wilts or above there. Intercept fire. This is in the north. Yeah, that's the worrying place there. They went down south actually, trying different places there. That's interesting. Hitting that with artillery, nothing happened almost. That is interesting. Oh, they're really building up there, but in did save us some time there it seems attacker was victorious i don't know where they hit actually i didn't i couldn't see that it's probably up north there we have sandig and let's see here that's trosverge seems like they're emptying out that place as well but moving where maybe to go v Let's see, it's going as Gouflange. They're moving up. Oh, they got hit there. Which was nice. That's at Le Brick. Oh, they're building up things there. That's in the. Ah, uh, that's. Yeah, Monchau. That's in the close to Monsha as well. They're moving away there and around. Well, I think I forgot actually to move a unit there. I was supposed to break there. Yeah, I think I did. I was supposed to break their lines there by moving one unit up there. Well, well, well. can't remember everything I guess and it's war and everything you make mistakes and whatnot Lineville is ooh, that's a strong tank unit probably the one that were in Stavolo maybe and we can see that this one has been left out and that's the end of turn Wow. So I, the things I was worried about didn't happen. So I'm happy with that up north. So we bought ourselves some time. Let's have a look. We have night, then round eight. We have, um, it's actually not turn eight, it's round eight, whatever. So it's not night, light, which is precipitation 
So in the morning we'll have mist. During daytime it's flak up, light precipitation. And then we could also maybe do operations just cerebral C. Then we have afternoon mist again. Then we have night overcast, then morning overcast and day overcast. So it's opening up here in round 13 and 14. And flak is going to be very important. Light precipitation, I think that's better weather than overcast. So during noon, it's going to be really important to keep flax up. We have 70 points on the map, plus all the casualties that we have inflicted on the allies. That gives us 76, moving towards 200, which is nice. And the losses that we have right now are can't remember what we had last time. Was it 3,300? Don't remember really. I think so. Now we have 3,800, which is 500 more. And I, I don't know. That's probably in line with what we've had before. Let's see. Allied losses. To keep a 5 to 1, we would basically need to have just under 20,000 because 4,000 times 5. And if we would have 20,000, yeah, around 20,000 would be between, between 5 to 1 and 6 to 1. 6 to 1 really is closer to more 22, 23. Let's see. About 20,000, would I would be happy with that. Absolutely. And it is. I'm happy with that. That's nice still. Not bad. All right. Night time. So... Restricted view, obviously. Let's inspect what we actually can see and cannot see. We have... Actually, this guy has been released. No, he, he's on his way, right? Okay, let's go all the way south then first. And let's take a look at what we can see and not see here. So this guy is moving around here. He's moving towards here. But he needs to rest for sure. So he's going to rest. This guy is going to rest anyway. We have some movement here. We don't care about that. That's interesting. Maybe we do have some movement here. But I don't really care about that. It's a bit un It's a bit difficult now, of course, when it's night to actually see what they did. So there seems to be movement here. And I think we did push someone around here. Or maybe we had someone here who moved over here. Well, let's go through history, of course. That's what we're going to start doing. I forgot that. Let's have a look. So we have first. Let's have a look here. We have unknown unit first over here. So we are Trosvers. And it seems like we have. Yeah, so it's a. Um, it's just uh, this one. And together they, they are seven, one and six, basically. So it's just trash, really. And let's see here. That's that one. So it's nothing really to worry about. Okay. Then we are in the Kirsch and Etlebuik right here. And we have the, this one, the armored unit moving away. I don't remember we had two here actually. Maybe we did. Could be. What are you doing there? You're staying there? Okay. Then we have Monsha. We have this engineering unit getting hit by intercept fire. It's cool. All the way down south here, we have this unit here. And he is going to move up here. I really don't care about that. That's fine. Wait, 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 wait. He try and do something here. He's constructing a bridge. <laughs> That's interesting. So I guess he's going to be activated. That's really interesting. Okay. Wow. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. So you have these guys. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting to see. Okay, and here we have close to Wilts. We had an attack from south here on Faloa. And it seems like we had 
veterans and greens, some bazookas. And they lost like half of them, all of the greens, half of the veterans. So this was really uh, some straggling group simply that we probably hit here and they try to go through here. So yeah. All right, good. 23rd infantry also moving away from here. Probably the guy that got hit quite a lot. So, and he's moving away, moving away, moving away. Yeah. Then we have these forward units towards Bastone. And these guys were sitting on a, like on a line here, I think. And we have white here, they're concentrating over there. White moving away. We have O'Hara. I see. And O'Hara, rather. Let's see here. We have an unknown unit and we are at Govi right now. And they're piling up. Moving up here. That's a strong unit. Moving away here. Moving up here, probably. Okay. Here we have Krause. That's in the north. That's Spa up here. So they are, they are moving in here. We are sitting here in a nice spot. It's moving away somewhere. Okay. We have a tank destroyer bat uh, battalion here. And that's at Etlebrück. Moving up here. Shutting this road over here down. And these guys are supposed to move down here, I think. Maybe towards Merge, but also this way, actually. So yeah, makes sense. And they're moving down. Maybe across. Don't know. We have Team Young, and this is at Lingneville. We did encounter some here. That's a rather strong unit over here. Moving away towards this theater over here. And there he comes and over here. Okay, and then we have a flak unit probably moving the same direction. Yeah. Then up in Govi, we have an, yet an unknown unit. Maybe the same one like last time. Here we are at is right. That's Saint Bith right there. So we have another unit coming in here probably. Moving away. That's good for us, I think. We have an unknown unit moving somewhere around here. And right here, that's Sobrot. It's a lovely, lovely name. Sour bread in German, I think. What do we have? Clark is here. That's St. Beth. Clark is moving from this base up here and away. And then we have the 8th Infantry being, where are we? That's Etelbrück. Etelbrück moving north, probably, or maybe down south. We'll see. South, escaping the Fallschirmjägers. Setting up camp there. No, moving down. Moving down even further. They're really moving down here. Worried probably about Mersch maybe. And uh, that makes sense. Or maybe moving up here. So we might actually have some problems here. And these guys need to pile in here to battle these guys also, I think. And some moving down here. We'll see. Oof, that's that's some jump. So we do have something here moving behind us here. Where are we at? That's Monshao. We have an unknown unit somewhere up uh, here. Moving down there. That's a weak infantry movement here, moving towards Elsenborn. Look at that, that's lovely. And he's going somewhere and he's returning because they are fleeing because that's no good. So this could also be a nice way to go, Drun. No, I'm not gonna go there. I'm just gonna rest there for a while. 
Here we have an AA battalion moving in here. He gets intercepted fire, of course. And uh, we have 12th infantry moves, and this is uh, this is Etlerbuik up here, and this is Beaufort. So these guys are coming down here. They are moving away. So they are leaving down here towards Junglinster or Mersch, because this is too strong, I guess. Unknown units we have here. Task for something. That's a very, very strong unit coming in from where? This is Altrier. That's interesting. We'll see. Here's Benno. This is Vilsalm. And this is Govi. So this one is coming in here, stopping us like that. Then we have unknown unit up by Rutgen. This is our city right there. Moving away. Moving down. Showing up here maybe. We have an artillery unit. Where? Uh, Smonshaw. Yeah, quite close to Elsenborn. Moving up in Elsenborn. But leaving. So really they are retreating now from this. Because there's nothing here they can do really. And we want to push them down here. And we want to push down here also to cut off this supply route over here. Eventually, we'd like to cut this one off, of course, if possible. But uh, really, just attacking, I think. We'll see. But pushing these guys, that's the main thing we want to do. We have a ranger battalion close to Trosverge, but it is badly damaged. Probably someone who escaped from Clairvaux or something like that, or around here, trying to escape and succeeds. Probably, we have Schoenberg here. We have maybe the tank battalion. Let's see, no, it could be the tank battalion actually. Let's see, don't know, but I'm aware they're gonna go. This is the only way to go. So, and that's not a bad way, way place to go either, but yeah, maybe you can construct a bridge or something. I don't know. We have an artillery unit over here anyway, and that's close to St. Fifth. Moving maybe in. We don't know where he's moving. And this one is moving away now, which is kind of cool because of this one. Trying to shut this gate down here. Moving closer to the tank unit, I think it is. We have this unit that was standing here, blocking our path towards St. Beth. It's moving away. Really far away. And moving in here. Good. We have an AA battalion, a flag unit. And this one is... This is Elsenborn right up here. So they're concentrating here, and this is worrisome. But they're moving up, probably taking Sarabrat, I think. Or, I don't know, maybe. Here we have Echweiler, which we are, he's always moving away, as we could see. And then we have uh, Etlebrück here. We have these mortars moving away, trying to move away at least. They're so heavily damaged. Trosverge over here, we have this situation here with a combat engineer trying to escape, I think. Yes, but not getting very far. And this is going back a little bit. Yeah, so we're going to hit this guy for sure. And then just keep on traveling. Yeah, all right. Let's see here. We have 164th. This is Bütgenbach, so... This one is coming down here or escaping. Let's see, he's moving away. Maybe moving in here. Yes, seeing that guy and not doing anything. Here we have combat engineer. Is that here? It's not highlighted, is it? It's 293rd. Oh, it's right there. So one of these guys moving away, I guess. Moving away and he 
is also moving away in here. This is a safer place for sure, but they're leaving that one and going in here because they do have the movement points. Here we have an unknown unit and we are at Lossheim right here. Yeah, this one was, let's see, well, what is this? Can't remember this one. But this is the 27th, this is the 12th Volksgrenadier. Yeah, he was sitting up here and being annoying simply. This is good that he's moving out in the open. It's a weak engineer unit. And that is just great. What else we have? They have the 42nd, that's an infantry, that's both four. Moving away, I think, from this guy here, trying to escape this place here, which is good. And moving there, and maybe down to Kristnacht. Nope, he's moving over here, and that's not a good place to be at. Colley Collins is also moving away, pretty much the same way, I think. Then we had the 35th Combat Engineering moving away from here, I think. Getting hit, which is nice. And then we get hit here. We do get hit, but we hold. This is Stavalo, and this is the Feld unit, the new unit that we were able to scrape together. So we do lose 10 men. But look at that, we have Volks Grenadiers here. So uh, there is just six rooms we are losing. But look at that. That's a tank unit. Ooh, with Shermans. That is interesting news. So I hit this one going up here. During the night would be nice. Ending up here and they will attack during the night. And get wrecked. That's going to be nice. That's what we're going to do. That's one of the things we want to do for sure. But we'll see. This was what I was afraid of. Of them hitting us here. We're sitting here in a city. But we are an artillery unit. And they, I don't know what kind of unit they had. But look at this. Some Wolverines. So it's a tank destroyer unit with 9 and 18. Uh, and some Greyhounds as well. But we're in a city, we're a rather large unit, and we don't sustain any losses, and they do lose some. Good news. He moves away, I think, being rather weak, weakened. Here we have a hit on Porsche, von Porsche, something like that, from the north, and this was a weak unit, if I remember. And um, as we can see, he is completely destroyed. Fantastic. So we don't have to worry about him. That's good. Good, really good news. So moving away down here then. This is worrisome, but I think he is going to leave also, as we saw. Now look at this one. This one looks healthy, but I'm not sure it did look healthy when we saw that last, but we'll see. 102nd, that's a cav, and this is in the northern sector, which is worrisome. And I'm worried about this one getting hit. But was he moving from here, up here? I can't remember. I think he might have, because I think this was open. Yeah, he is. That's very nice. If we can build some kind of defensive positions like this here, while maybe trying to pick these guys apart or he's going to hit this guy here while we try to blow the bridge here we'll see nothing there all right we're up by stavolo again here and we have the 434 moving away here these guys just came from here this guy is moving from stavolo down here so now it's empty i know that for sure so this opens this up and it opens this one up, which is fantastic. He goes there. Well, let's go intercept fire then, please. No? Well, I like that. But that is a crazy move. But 
I mean, I'll take that for sure. We get artillery fired upon. What is that? Oh, that's at Altrier. So here we get hits here, and this is going to get pushed out. We only have like scraps left, basically. And this was a just a single um, unit of tank destroyer, basically with pack forties. So and with the artillery, it's almost destroyed here. And we have such a strong unit coming up here and moving around, going into Altria and then hitting him like that. So, yeah, of course, understandable. We do have a nice position up here, though. We'll see if we can. So this is American right now. We get hit here by artillery, but nothing happens. This one or another one comes in. Here we have an unknown unit moving upwards. That's a cav, or it's a reconnaissance unit moving up. We do have defensive positions there, fortifications. All right. That is a really, really, really interesting thing. I mean, we'll be able to move across here and be hit. We will be able to hit this one. So it looks very nice. Yep. All right. 8th Infantry, they're moving up here as well. This is vulnerable for sure. But he mo he's moving away. And here we have an, a flak unit. And we are where? Noville. So these are the the three that are moving towards the stone. This guy is moving away, I think. We're back to Wilts. Looking at the 602nd. Uh, tank destroyer battalion and he's moving in this direction he's probably moving around here and um, that's it and now they're moving away aren't they yeah oh he's from moving from here that was an artillery so now there are two in here don't know if anyone is in here still though they're moving away Okay, and moving away again. So they're leaving Wilts, I think. Hmm. Here's Bastogne. So they're putting up a significant roadblock there. And there. And there. That's a clever move, for sure. We have a 311 up here in the north. And we had one unit moving from here up here the cav and we have one moving down here getting intercepted fire now according to the rules i think the germans had like less radios and stuff so they were had a more difficult time to intercept uh, actually so anyway we have an unknown unit up here and this is what we were worried was worried about we were worried worried about this guy is not hitting this one, is he? Or maybe he is actually. But they're splitting up here. Moving here, checking this guy up. Staying there. Moving this guy away, which is good. And away. Then they're bunching up there. A cav coming down here. We have another cav coming down there. Getting interceptive fire there. Now one of these guys are moving away here. Unknown unit up there. So they're really piling in here now. We have unknown unit close to these guys here. We have 311 here. This is where Yeah, this is all the way up here. So this guy is trying taking a look at this one, seeing units here, going up here, seeing units here. So it's difficult to cross. He's understanding that this guy is moving away. Cav unit, he gets into fire. They're doubling down there, getting into fire. This guy is moving out. Then we get hit here, but not a whole lot by artillery. I think we're in woods here and stuff, so. And the second time, nothing happens. 
Let's have a look at that one, actually. There is information here. Oh, that's interesting also. Because the bridge survives. So actually, we're not worried about them going for artillery here, actually. We're just thankful for that. They're doubling down here. Will they hit this one? Going down through here and here. Seems like they're going to make a move. Also, maybe they have infantry that can cross here eventually. But then, by then, we'll have mop-up troops here, I'm sure. Here we have an artillery attack here. This is beside the um, Simerath, and this is in field. But that's not a significant loss, so we're happy with that. Here we have an attack, of course, with the, this weak unit here. That was expected we lost four horse teams, no worries. But they don't go there. Well, actually, maybe they pile in here. Oh, no, not really. We are down up still at Rutgen, and we have an unknown unit again moving around here. We are Femonville and them over here. We have, let's see, 109 teeth moving down. So I, I think that we had the artillery being here, and now it's moving away probably here. We don't really need to pursue it, I think. Or maybe that would be a good idea. We'll see. Now he's already down here, I think. Leaving Bowen. All right. Here we have another one. And we are at Echt. And we are... Is that... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's the old one. That was broken. So here we have St. Vith, really. Going up north. Here's Trosvej. And we see another unit up here. And this is in this small city. Basbella. And they're moving away. And Team Campbell moves away. And an un unknown unit moves here, which is a good place because they don't want us to spread around here. Unknown unit. And this is Trosvej again moving in and away. And coming around here. That's the tank unit. So the tank units that were here, I think, are moving down here. And that's going to leave us vulnerable. But I think we have the tank units in here, actually. So, which is fantastic. So they'll be able to hit this guy here. He's moving over here. Oh, he's coming this way. Hmm. That's great. We have a recon unit 106. Where, where are you at? Over here. This is... Where are we at? That's St. Vith. Okay. Recon squad. Okay, so now we have two units in St. Vith. But only at a level of 25-ish. Here's Groflange. And we have another one coming up here. Moving up here, that's an artillery unit. Up here, because they want to close up the St. Vith path. And keep distance from us. We have um, St. Vith again. We have the 148th moving close to St. Vith center. And possibly moving in there. And moving past that. Doubling down here. And we have units moving up here up there up there we remember that one and somewhere and moving in and then hitting us and he suffers and that's interesting it's really the artillery unit that is attacking us we suffer nothing they suffer a lot but in here they do now have i think one, at least one artillery unit here. Now they're moving out. I think St. Vith is free. Maybe they're moving away. Govi is here. They're moving maybe away in here. And this is where we have the 116th Panzer. Here we have moving down here, I think. And moving away. We have Etlebrück here. And we have 109th moving in here, doubling down, moving up. 
and having the tra train or trucks rather moving in there and moving that one over there whatever and moving around because he doesn't know where to go he, this is up north again this city that just keeps on paying uh, or keeps on giving gifts rather so yeah I don't know why there's I, I guess they're afraid of me going towards Retkin or something like that so we have units moving out around here and I don't know where they went then we have a ninth infantry over here moving up north maybe towards Monshao somewhere around there now we are again here at uh, Monshao so we have units coming in here the blue ones in here and where is he going to go? He's also going to examine Elsenborn and then go back, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. So that's where they're at. And we have these. This he maybe continues. And uh, they're disappearing there, moving up here. So they're thinning out there for sure. This is both four. We have a unit coming up here wonder what that is it seems like it's the task force a very very strong unit we'll see if we can manage anything here but he's leaving probably southwards or maybe going back actually yes indeed seeing this one sitting in the city but these two strong task force R and S Oof. and that's that's a concentric attack if I ever saw one and here's a third unit coming up maybe these are reinforcements from the south yeah that's a different task force oh this is going to be difficult wow okay this is broke what's he gonna do he's gonna try and maneuver around these guys are leaving which is nice so we should be able to take Gouflange these are actually not going to go towards St. Vith they really are going towards Vilsalm so they should just push this direction here really but uh, sure and here we have the cav anyway moving away I think here we have an engineering unit moving away so they're like emptying this place here and here we have, here we have a strong tank unit all, all together 99 uh, 72 tank destroyer moving we've seen that before we are in St. Fifth right now moving in here unknown unit emptying that square that hex we are right now in Govi moving away from this one opening this one up if we wanted it at least opening up this one and going back, artillery, maybe moving up like that. We have St. Fifth right here, taking up a position north, shutting that door. Lineville, a strong, strong, strong tank unit. Uh, we have Stugs and stuff here. And they saw that probably and left, or maybe not. And then we have an unknown unit towards Monshao, and this is quite close to Sobot. Moving down here, taking that vital crossroads. And this is close to Monshao. Emptying that out. Don't know where he's going. But it seems like he's trying to put a blockage here somewhere because we're coming up here. And these guys also. So. Like, I don't know, half of these can go here, half of these can go here, something like that, I guess. And then until this has been resolved, we'll just push everyone up here. That's the plan. Two units here, which is smart. And that's a weak unit. And that's an interesting. So we have third Falshim Jaegers. This is close to St. Fifth. That's, oh yeah, yeah. So here we have the 150th uh, Panzergrenadier uh, Brigade 
and uh, the cam move, uh, is moving over here, which is a stupid position, but they do have movement points, so, but that's where they ended up anyway. And here is Etlebrück again. We have an unknown unit moving up here. And that's interesting. A divisional one. If we could take that one down, maybe with artillery. Moving in here. And unfortunately moving away, maybe. It was too good to be true. And then we have continued movements of that movement, that one. So. We have 9th Armored Division moves again and again, and that's it. So it's probably left here. Hmm. Right, probably not going to be able to push through here. What I'm thinking here just in general is maybe going with these guys, maybe up here to protect this weak one, because I it felt like we will have a lot of heavy troops coming up here. And then piling in here also with these guys that's probably the plan <coughs> so that's it wow and we don't see a whole lot here so uh really so i mean on top of my my the the first thing i'm thinking about is i'm thinking of course about saint fifth whether it's been uh left alone I think here it's difficult to do anything so they will just have to stay here and rest look at that 46 that's terrible so I mean they're not going to do anything here they need to preserve their strength for sure during the night time here this is the tank unit and in here we do have two tank units however again for some reason they are like that. So we're going to cut these down here for sure. We don't want them to get hurt. This one, I think, will do the same, maybe. I don't know if we should worry. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not going to take... Am I going to take the chance? Let's see here. I'm not, I don't know. We'll see. And in this stack, we don't have anything. In this stack, we don't have anything to be worried about. And all of these are secured in that sense that they're in combat mode. So, yeah. There's going to be a lot of resting for sure. But, uh, yeah. And then we'll see what if they move away simply. But it seems like Govi is um, not free to take or anything like that. But let's see here. That's 54 going around like that. That's even worse. Okay. So we'll see what happens. Then we have St. Vith up here. I think the, these all guys needs to rest. Let's have a look at them. 65. Yeah, they're all going to rest here anyway. So pretty much at least. We might have some units that don't have to. But I think, yeah, everyone needs to be refreshed here, I think. We've pushed them. I like this one. It's 94 out of 94, which is okay so i could move but this is dangerous territory as well so i'm thinking saint bith it's zero i mean it's impossible to know if anyone's in there but i could of course just go in there to try and take it i no i don't know it's a bit silly doing that during night time also i'm thinking do I get ambushed? Will they see me? Well, also 85 out of 85, I'm gonna rest no matter what. There seem to be some problems with gas here, but it's really these guys that are out of gas. How about supply here? No, they're out of supply here. So we're just gonna rest here for sure. And they need to break through here during the morning. And that's not going to happen now. I'm not going to take any chance that they all need to rest, I think, pretty much. Well, this one doesn't really have to, but it would be nice. And also, they, uh, the allies might actually move. So what about these guys here? It would not be a bad thing to rest. All right. And up here, this is where they went. But... These guys need to rest no matter what. 
And I think there was a tank unit somewhere around here. We don't have to worry about these guys getting hit, I think. We did have this young come in here. But we don't hard to see it. It's 37. Field snow. And these guys could do with some rest as well. But. This is the place where we want to think about. We do have an enemy unit here. Using this one to take Stavolo here would be important to do that. By the way, let me check Wilts really quick here because uh, I'm wondering about the the um, uh, this one. Yeah, um, I mean it looks like it did before. They're probably going to try and ruin that but well see that that's where we are so so during the night look at this one it only has 70 it should really rest but it has bigger 97 and taking this one would be important but we could also do that do do that during the morning when they have rested I think we'll see another attempt here during the night time. I think Stavolo is open. And using this one to take Stavolo would totally make sense. And then maybe even travel forth here, maybe going up here. I don't know. To secure this one even further. Don't know. Could definitely be something. Even actually going up here might be something to divide like that. Anyway, we do need heavy hitters here. We do need some anti-tank and stuff. And let's see what we have. We do have that here. So, we do have flak with 88s, 17 of them. That's a good start. In here we have the tank units, which is good, and they are almost fully rested anyway. Not that one, but this one. So this guy here, he could definitely... Why is he green and everything here? It's because we're... I don't know. So this guy could definitely not, you know, he can't reach this one. Why is that? It's because of this young here. Cost 50. 18. Oh, it's because he's not going and like that. 72. And that is going to be 12 plus 5, I think. Due to the difference in height. So that's another 17. That would be 89. And then another 12. Uh, that's not going to be enough. So this guy could actually use a card speed. That's what we're going to do. That's definitely what we're going to do. And if I'm sitting here looking into this one, I have Recon Zero. So they have no idea really. They do know that I have something in here. But that's good. What else? Could we go to Trapon? It would be nice. I don't think that we can take it, but it would be nice to be to try. And then I would need someone who's well rested, and this one is well rested, I'd say, but again, it's not able to reach. That is 89. He needs a little bit more. Ouch. And there's nothing really I can do about that because it's it's not like it costs more, right? That's 22, that's 10. Why does it cost so much? Is it because I'm at side one? Is it because I'm going across a river maybe? Am I though? Let's take a look. Is there anything up northeast? Uh, bridge is present. Nope. Southeast and south. Just these two. 
So I don't know why that costs. See, this one costs 32. This guy, 22. All right. It's usually 10, but this is again 22. So it seems like if there is a height difference, it's not 10. But look at that. It's uh, really 44 to 59, but this is a regular road. That is 15 points. Is it because he's wheeled, maybe? Let me have a look. Wheeled. It says 10 on road. Maybe it's because it's night time. 59 plus 15 would be 74, right? Sorry. Exactly. So it seems like it costs 15. Could definitely be it because it's during the night. So that's interesting. So I think trying to take stab below with this one unit would be a, something I want to do and then try and move this tank unit up here together with the flak unit that we have here. That's the plan. But look at that, that's 10 for the flak unit. And it's more tracked, isn't it? Yeah. So maybe it has to do with wield and tracked actually. Let's see here, going down here, that's 20. That adds, that's interesting. That adds 17. All right. And then another 17. Then it's 10, and 10, and 10. And he only has 94. Hmm. Maybe. It will be too difficult to take Trapon in the evening. Because if there's probably someone there. But I do want to put some damage onto these guys here because they think that this guy is going to budge next time, I think. This one here definitely needs to turn on to combat mode. This one is turned on to combat mode, that's fine. This one doesn't really have to be in here. Yeah, this one is interesting because it's on March mode. So is that why it costs half? That's why. That's why it's able to move. So track maybe costs 20 rather than 15 during night time. Let's say that's why. So if we were to attack this one, like that and get rid of him move him out of the way he could actually reach Trapon during night time but that would be hazardous because he'd have to use that costs 84 minus these 10 he loses here that's 74 he has 94 that'd be 20 left that would mean that turning that off, he should be able to move over. So that is definitely a possibility. What about this guy? He doesn't really need to rest. So hitting this guy, moving this one here, turning into combat mode and trying to move across during nighttime might actually be something. I will lose the extra... Um, see uh, 
88s and stuff. This is a really weak one. They're not going to leave that one empty, are they? That's going to cost me. I don't feel like I'm going to go. F I think I'm going to go for the safe route here, actually. That's probably the best thing. If I'm going to move anything, I'll probably move anything that's like not feeling tired. But I think all of them are pretty much feeling tired. Like this one would be all right to maybe move up here. But it's a borderline case, really, moving a 93 up here. But he would get some rest anyway, but not all of it. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this one, and I'm going to move this one up here. Move this one in here, and move this Feld. Uh, Feldershots Battalion in here first, and then up there. That's the plan. And um, it would be nice to hit these guys like that. While we can. They're so experienced, these guys. Because it's SS infantry. This is like an all-out attack. And they have high... This is probably what I need to do. I think so. Need to, but it, it's a... It's too good not to do it, basically. Another possibility would be move here and move here, but this one is def definitely good enough. But that's not even, it's a small river. I thought that would be a, yeah, I don't know. That would be good enough. Anyway, so uh, let's not spend too much time around here anyway. So it looks very interesting anyway. And uh, what else do we have? We have a situation here that this looks like it would be easy to go for. Maybe like this, even during the night, this is not going to cost us, but we need to rest, 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 rest. These definitely need to rest. This guy needs to rest. Everyone needs to rest. So we're just going to be resting, I think, during the night, pretty much. This is not an opportunity, really. It's just safeguarding. I think we have two, two troops up here. We don't need to push anything here. We're in a good position. So we could blow bridges if they don't need the rest. Like this one doesn't really, really need the rest. So we could definitely try and blow the bridge here. This one, same thing here. This one as well. This one as well. So there are a couple of ones that can do that. All right, I'm going to call it and uh, I'll see you simply in the next uh, round, which is going to be mine. Oh, but one thing more. We have to look at the stats. Do have to look at the stats. Let's take a look at total troops. So we have increased our troops and that has to do, I think, with uh, us scraping together emergency troops. So we got another 6,000 troops which is nice. They have decreased their troops. So we have a difference of 10,000 here, which is not a big difference, but now maybe even more. Casualty sustained. A slightly lower slope on this one. So it's more like less than 4,000 actually, not 5,000. We remain the same. We have the same slope of around 700. Uh, 50 maybe uh, losing but that compared to like 4,000 or 3,500 is quite good 
casualties inflicted looks same of course let's have a look at the supplies we have all supplies here let's have a look here we added some supply because we felt it was needed and these are the sent to units ones so once we got some more we sent some more once we got some more we actually didn't send more because we didn't have to and that means that we do have extra access right uh, excess of uh, supply sources stocks right now of 27 now that's going to be spent really fast i think because um the difference between center units and what we usually get here is 17 so that's like one turn basically so supply is going to be tough for sure fuel wise then we can see that our um, supply stocks of fuel have gone down significantly unfortunately and that's because we uh, did not add any more supply here we've maintained here but we've been asking and received uh, so there is a difference here like every turn we're losing 30k of of that and if we look at this one that would mean seven, six turns unless we actually get more and this is what we have in our source stocks right now so taking St. Pith for example which we did which was good but those I think they are in these ones let's have a look supply source at this particular one that's where we have these so I think I don't know all supply sources maybe if we turn the taps on uh, in the middle of the field basically we could fuel oh, of course I'm so stupid <laughs> Vilsan, uh, not Vilsan, but St. Pith. We already have fuel right there. Why didn't I think of that? We have lots of fuel here. Let's deplete them. Because look at supply here. Let's take a look at St. Pith here. They uh, would help out these guys here. So this one would help green here and blue here. So they would get supply, both fuel and supply. So that will be important. So I'm going to turn the deplete on there. If we have a regular, it's 54. It's kind of sad not to use it, but we I think we do need this one because we need to be have um, also defensive bonuses and everything here. So, and it's going to be our turn now to move and. Yeah, but it's going to be night time, so that's good. So maybe we'll fill these guys up actually. Uh, that's good. Yeah. We need to take a look at these fuel points, though. So I'm going to write that down, actually. And uh, actually, I can just take a photo easier to keep for a screenshot that's good all right mm. so it's on deplete right now we'll see how much fuel is going to be used around with these ones but um, we'll try that out i think that's the way to go what else what else Let's see here. Is there anything else that I need to think about? We were talking about stats, right? Yeah. Unit supply. We were talking about unit. Yeah. Let's have a look at unit supply. So the units themselves, they have like 
they are getting even better stocked right now, which is good in general. And they asked for a lot and they received quite a lot anyway, but I mean, as usual, pretty much. Unit fuel, it seems like they have um, a good amount of fuel in their tanks and um, they requested what they requested they pretty much got so still good i think the only thing we have to worry about is really when it comes to the supply sources when it comes to fuel these are the supply sources this i'm worried about this one really worried so we need to pick up even more so maybe it's going to help with picking up and, and also let's see what happens with uh, St. Vit if we use some of those um, fuel points and supply points what is going to happen is that this logistic number is going to go down but if we can use that, maybe these are going to go up, but it's only 13,000 points. So it's going to go down quite fast, I think. It's not a whole lot. And we do need these ones for the logistics also. Basically, I guess they're fueling trucks able to ferry things from outside the map, basically. Well, that's it. Is there anything else that we need to take a look at? Supply reports, replacements, it's what we get every time. So there are some replacements delivered every time. Fuel report, 40,000 every time. The, oh yeah, yeah, this is the one I was looking for. So now we actually get for formality, we get five extra points. So we get gear up by 59. Same with when once we take that one, that's another 10. If we take Bastogne, that's another 10. The Psalm is a bit, well, but we also have Viltz here. So I think Viltz five and St. Vith 10, that's another 15 points. That would get, get up, up to 40 points per return and that would help us tremendously so seeing that um, we are actually doing good things and uh, they want to bet on us basically and give us more resources because they see that this is working and these are ap reductions we have a head sir that's 19th we don't have that's the 20th head sir activated and then we have just sicherungs so yeah and i don't think we have any any um other replacements coming up How about cards i don't think we got any new cards either but um getting like 40 points every turn is going to be very very nice because that's going to help us with cards like this if we want to or just going for comfortable for example or ss comfortable is something we could actually do now we need that so that's really really nice and these ones are deployed just somewhere around where you are and that's going to be tremendous helpful here we have some rear areas we have two new bridges again we have rear bri repair bridges too we have replacements still with eight now that we get more points these are going to be more valuable of course um, so and then we have supply and fuel again and again, fuel might be something, supply might be something also. So, yeah. Air support cancelled, it's night time. And these depots are, I don't know exactly when to use them, but I think after we leave Stavolo, I think we might want to set up one of these, actually on the way towards the Meuse River. We'll see. Is there anything else I need to take a look at? I don't think so. Strategic map. This is the bulge. Moving in towards St. Fifth here a little bit. But uh, yeah. Looks 
so right we're on the way to Bastogne but here we see enemy units three of them and that's where we are at that we have some I don't know if these are cities I think along the way or something but here we have lots of our units yeah these are ought to be our concentrations of our units actually these are our units trying to move through builds over here yeah I think it is I don't know maybe I don't know yeah that's it that's it I think can't think of anything else so I think I'm gonna leave it at that and we're going to make some interesting moves during the night time in the next episode so now we've actually seen the enemy movement and um, we are going to take a look at some night movement for us in the next turn so again thanks for watching it's always interesting thank you take care now